agenda had just a few glyphs, really 250, something like that. And I took a look at agenda 20 some years after I'd drawn it. And I, I thought, oh, there's some things that need to be fixed here. <laughs> I had ideas that I, I couldn't really execute on the way I wanted to hmm. in 93. Because you didn't think all the way through or you didn't have an experience? I, there was a lot of stuff I just didn't know. I'm Roger Black. Today, I've got Greg Thompson, our virtual office that we have for all of Time Network. I'm in St. Pete Beach, Florida right now at Paso Grill, the very little island at the end. And at the end of that, this little motel called Islands Inn, their side is at a bodega. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. Right. Up the street is the giant pink 1920s Florida hotel called the Don Cesar. And it's also Bodega now. <laughs> <laughs> These fonts, Agenda and Bodega, have been bestsellers for Kite Network from the beginning. So what is it like to have one of these fonts that you suddenly see all over the place? I first saw Bodega in the wild in Los Angeles. I was driving west on Ventura Boulevard. I was headed home. Something caught my eye. They have these little uh, bus stop kiosk things that people can sit in and wait. And they're plastered with advertisements. Yeah. And I said, I think I know that. And I, I whipped around the block and it was an advertisement for a remake of Father of the Bride. It was a movie poster and it was set in Bodega Sand. I was ecstatic. I was just... <laughs> On, I was just on air. I floated home. Well, that's what we used to call the gutter test, when you could look down at a scrap of paper in the gutter when you're walking along the sidewalk, and you could say the typeface. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> or you would know the newspaper. My children grew up, you know, these sighting alerts. <laughs> and after a while, I stopped because I just got eye rolls. <laughs> but you say Chicago. You lived in Chicago for a while, too, didn't you? I lived in Chicago when we met, and Bodega Sands was drawn in the unfinished attic of my house on the northwest side on a little Mac SE20 with a 7-inch black and white screen. Wow. And I had a dot matrix printer. <laughs> That's fantastic. So what exactly did you do for a living in those days in Chicago? Well, I had a job at a big design firm in the loop on Michigan Boulevard. It was called Bagby Design, and they did high-end design to pay for the founder's high-end shoes that he liked to wear. <laughs> at, and he did annual reports, Fortune 100 companies. I learned a lot from a designer at Bagby Design, Tom Clark. Just an attitude about type. When I started Agenda, I thought, I want to do a typeface that Tom Clark would use. Nice. So the crazy thing is that the chain in the type business hasn't slowed down that much. We thought it was kind of terrifying to go from metal to photo to digital to desktop. But now we're in, in the throes of all kinds of things like variable fonts. It's a little terrifying. <laughs> How about you? Is, is the technology bother you at all? Or do, you're working on a variable versions of your phone. I'm a friend of technology. Sometimes it bites me, but I started out designing on a computer, designing type on a computer. I'm, I'm not a calligrapher. My handwriting is terrible. I played with a speedball set when I was a kid and got frustrated with it. <laughs> uh, the way I work now is I always work in a design space. A number of different masters that are the simplest would be a thin master and a heavy master hmm. so I, I would draw my glyphs two at a time a thin version of, of the lowercase a and the heavy version then i have a tool that allows me to smoothly go between the two so i can look at this a on the screen and see it in the thin then move a slider and see it in the heavy so you had poles That's, and an axis right Bodega was not designed that way, but Agenda was, because hmm. when I read about uh, Adobe Multimaster, I read the press releases and I thought, oh, that's the way to do it. And then Fontographer, which I was using at the time, upgraded Fontographer to use Multiple yeah. Master. Yeah. And so the first Agenda in 93 was a two-axis design space, width and weight. And so I've been working, you know, however many eons ago, <laughs> and uh, Fontographer evolved like everything. And... Robofont now has lots of extensions that support this yeah. multi-axis kind of thinking. And that's what I, you use, Robo? Yeah. 
I used Robocon. The friends of the Pop Era were pretty much into Robo when it, when it started. I mean, it was a spinoff of Robo Fog. You know, it had a scripted version of Photographer. Fog being the file. I mean, it's a completely different thing, but it was the ideas that they were working on. So it was kind of a natural evolution for our group. It's now getting so much more diverse and it doesn't really, you know, from Type Network's point of view, uh, we are happy to have fonts coming in from wherever they're coming in. It's really the quality of the design that's the the key and right. the tools or whatever works, whatever makes you happy, whatever, you, wherever you can get your best work out of. Yeah. So speaking of which, so you're now, while we're talking, working on a kind of remaster of agenda. What made you do that? What are you thinking? And what's the plan behind all that? The plan is to support more languages. Agenda had just a few glyphs, really 250, something like that. And I took a look at Agenda 20 some years after I'd drawn it. And I, I thought, oh, there's some things that need to be fixed here. <laughs> I had ideas that I, I couldn't really execute on the way I wanted to hmm. in 93. Because you didn't think all the way through or you didn't have another experience? I, there was a lot of stuff I just didn't know. Hmm. Especially in the narrow widths, the very condensed styles, I just didn't know how to handle it when it got really narrow like that. And then the italics, I really struggled with, with those. The new fonts, Agenda 1 and Agenda 1 italics, I'm much happier. I'm much happier with those. Especially the italics, I think I've done a much better job. Mm -hmm.